Hey guys, what's going on? This is Drewby Doo and Soberoni, and welcome back to a next episode of GNA Podcast. We are here to kind of officially start the winter 2018 season. Uh, gotten through most of the shows of the season, with the exception of Fate Extra. So this will be the official start of the new lineup. Yeah, I would say so. Yes, so we're officially going to start the new winter lineup with our god tier level anime airing this season Ooh. so many fucking amazing shows yeah um, we, i think i think this this is like gonna be one of our stronger seasons yes compared to last winter season which was yeah let's <laughs> not talk about that anyway <laughs> uh let's start off really really strong with violent Violent. <laughs> well let's start off really really strong with violet evergarden the Kyo Annie masterpiece that looks like a fucking art piece come to life. Yeah, I'm I'm in love with the, like we we just kept saying like she looks like a prettier saver like if she yeah she looks like super detailed and pretty version of saber from Fate. And I think that's like throughout the whole show it's just like, wow it's so fucking pretty just right off the bat this is the prettiest looking TV show like, I think I've ever seen like so much color like nice vibrant color. like even for kyo annie the level of detail and like just scenery and it looks like a movie quality piece it's so amazing it, just looking at it is worth it yeah and this show is just like oh god it's like i i respect the fact that it literally tells you what's going to happen <laughs> and yeah, it just doesn't care and it's still and it's still hurts and I think I think that's where we're gonna get there's gonna be a few shows where we're gonna diverge on our opinions oh no 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 no, no. Oh, okay well I don't think <laughs> I don't like okay let me put it let me put it this way cause I know cause as I said it I was like it could totally go into like another different direction but if it went that direction it was, I'm sure it, it would still be fine so for me it alright so this is a drama I don't think there's any other thing it is besides drama, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. I like drama. Well, I don't like dramas, but I tolerate <laughs> dramas. The problem I have with this show and well, this first episode is that's like the only thing it has. There's no the reason shows like Clannad and Angel Beats or even something like just Tegami Bachi things like that are so good is because there was like drama and comedy and mystery, and romance. Like, there's different elements of it. This, I feel like it's just trying to beat me over the head with, everything is going to die. This is going to be a very sad show. There is no lightheartedness. Everything <laughs> sucks. The world is horrible. Are you sad yet? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over here like, yes, hurt my fucking soul apart, please. <laughs> Which, fine. I mean, I, this is only the first episode, so I'm not going to like... So I think that's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's like you're you're rushing. No, yeah, judgment. I'm not saying like oh, this is gonna be one of these shows, but no, this is definitely gonna be a show where it's gonna be super. And it was good. The drama of it was good. Like the last, uh, the last scene in particular was really powerful mm-hmm. with her, you know, going through the, uh, getting her memory of um, what was it, Mister Gilbert? Yeah, her her, her Lieutenant Major, Major Gilbert, Major Gilbert dying and saying he loves her, which I mean. A lot of these things you can tell is coming from a mile away, but it still has impact. Just not as much impact because you see it coming. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect them to just out of, right off the bat. Like, oh, yeah, her love interest is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, usually they were like, wait a while and kind of like. <laughs> well, that, yeah, I guess know, that's the one to it. But yeah. no, they're like, nah, he's dead. He's dead. It's super obvious he's dead. They and now like, for the rest of the series, you get to watch her have false hope. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that they would just kill it off. Like, all right, listen. Like at the end of the episode, it would end with uh, with them being like, "Listen, Violet, he's dead." So I hope they don't keep stringing her along for thirteen more episodes of like, "Oh, he's uh, he's in the bathroom right now." Um. <laughs> <laughs> so it was depressing. It was. Um, I also have a theory that the son that died. Uh, in the Everdarted fam was probably it could Major be Gilbert. Major Gilbert. Yeah. I mean, um, that's the only reason I can see for them adopting her. Yeah. Uh, fucking, what was it? You know, in the trailer, fun fact, like, 
the way they talked about her, like, you know, imply that she wasn't human. Like, I thought, especially with her, like, her arms and everything, but no, she's pure human. Like, is she? I thought she was, like, an animated... Not, like, fully, like... <laughs> Auto yeah, memory or... doll. <laughs> 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 or, like, at least whole, human, but with, like, a cyborg type of deal. I don't no, know. You see, you see her hands get fall, literally yeah, fall you can, off. Like, it's, like I said, the cyborg, you still have human parts in you, you know? No, no but I'm... But no, but like you saw her human hands fall off, like yeah, because she got. That just makes her amputee. Doesn't make her cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like, for me, what does it is not just that she has mechanical arms, which is whatever. I'm talking more about her personality. Like her personality, I guess we can touch on now is just like. I have to do everything that Major Gilbert wants me to do. I am his doll. Oh my god, everything revolves I mean, around me. I mean, have you... I have no will or knowledge of anything outside I mean, of this. I mean, that's... But we have to have to consider the fact that she either could just be programmed, programmed to be like that. That's what I'm saying. young age. Like, super... Brain, like, everyone else around her seems to be normally adjusted, is what I'm saying. Well, like, yeah, but you know, this isn't the first time where they're <laughs> like, oh, we, here, made, like... we had some super program where we took ordinary people <laughs> and made them I don't know, crazy yeah. and <laughs> psycho. Like, She's over here we like, literally watched an anime where they turned normal people into spies. <laughs> She's kind of just like, she's so off like she doesn't know anything about anything else in the world except she's, for uh, fighting. she's and this is another <laughs> thing because she doesn't also doesn't know much about anything because first of all if you're being trained like that they're probably gonna isolate you from most of the world which makes sense that she would have a cup of tea or something that like this like she she's, <laughs> she tried to drink the cup of tea but her new I know, arms, her new like, arms adjust. i'm just saying in general she should have some knowledge of like she's also like a kid. social interaction how much of a kid? She looks like 13, 14, 15. Not like okay, she, the, but the she, mentality of a four-year-old, which is what she seems to have. She does not have the mentality uh, of a four-year-old. She's very old. She's very... She's very literal about everything. She has... To, she's not normal. She's not a normal person. So first I'm all, not going to say... First of all, shout out to all the abnormal people. I still love you. How are you? They hate you, but I still love you. And... Um, but yeah, like, depending on how she grew up, like, that's just how you are. Let's just put it this way. She's very robotic. She's extreme. She's, a, okay. she's the definition of a robotic personality. She's a robotic, yeah. She... <laughs> like, if there was like, oh, she has a cybernetic implant in her that makes her a robot, I wouldn't be surprised. I'd be like, oh, shit, well. Yeah, that's surprising, like a robot. but I'm also not like, whoa, <laughs> she has to be a robot. There's no way she can be human. Which, which is my other problem with the series so far is just that I don't really... I, not a fan of her person. I like the dude more. Like I don't like her. She's just so bland. Like once I think, in a while, no, she'll have I a, think no I don't think. Well, I think she's very. <laughs> she's she's very much like Siegfried, except more. Let's not go there. I didn't. No, say, no, I no, 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 In the sense, in the sense. Wow. First of all, <laughs> Sieg wasn't so god. Awful, but <laughs> I didn't say I wanted to kill her. I just said she wasn't that Um, no, she's like they're similar in the fact that they're both like I don't know much about like this world to a certain extent, or I don't know how working, you know, how working works essentially. It's like something, some like stuff like that. Like they don't, they're not used to it, except she, like I said, I guess this is where she has sick beat. Well. Probably have to be in multiple, ca- yeah, multiple, multiple areas, area, yeah. <laughs> but um, um, she, how do I say this? She still is emotional. She showed emotion at the end, like the last scene was very emotional. Like that's the one time I guess um, that was the point of that scene. Um, really? Because that bitch almost darted out the fucking house. She's like. At the hospital, she's like, "Okay, I'm broken in limbs, but I didn't find this brooch because the Gilbert gave it to me." Like yeah. that's the most girliest <laughs> thing you could actually and, but do. But even then, it was not like she was crying emotion. Oh she was my just god! Like, what? She oh, was just okay. like, "Oh my god, I need to get the brooch because Gilbert gave me the brooch, and the brooch is my one mission to obtain the brooch." Gilbert, it's Gilbert. Not a mi- it was a mission. <laughs> she it, was literally screaming, "These are my orders, orders, orders! I need orders!" She did not. She did 
not. Like, it wasn't, you're making it sound like this is fucking Nagisa from Clannad or something. Like, oh, she was, her eyes were watering and she showed all these emotional response no she okay, just was like all, i need a first brooch. of all first of all you have to cry <laughs> if, if the scene i'm not saying you need to cry i'm just saying that you just did you she, said. i'm saying she didn't show any remote emotional response outside of the fact that she was just like i need to get the brooch because it's oh. the most important and okay she, ran she definitely was like yelling and in a tizzy and but she was frazzled. yelling and in a tizzy since the beginning about getting orders from gilbert she was just the ending scene where she actually was oh like, god no, because yeah, the, the ending the scene was <laughs> compared to the ending scene where she was actually like Tearing and like I want to know what love means even even though it's not what Gilbert wow. told me. Oh wow! Like, I want to. I'm rushing all the time so to see the one man that I love. That's oh. not what she did though. She just she literally well, was just like love roach is it. not here. She's a sixteen year old doesn't know anything about love. Of course she wouldn't say that. Okay, sixteen year olds know what love is. She literally does not know. Oh, when you are a trained killer who doesn't need to know about love, <laughs> then yeah, you know might not know what love is. I'm just saying you're making it sound like it was more emotional than it was. It was just her being. In a tizzy, yes, but I wouldn't say it's an emotional scene or anything. It wasn't like well, my heart wasn't sinking. I'm like, oh no, it oh, wasn't. This it was wasn't hurting. That. First of all, I didn't say that. I, I said she had an emotional reaction to it. Mm. She has emotional reactions to things. That that was like the scene where she chose the animal. It wasn't, know, <laughs> which which was that. Scene but that's what I'm saying. Like, there's cute moments in it, which I hope they play up more. Like when she chose the animal, or when she un unintentionally. <laughs> backhand the shit out of the old woman with the comment. She's like, listen, bitch, I'm not here to hear about your dead son. All right? I don't give a fuck about your dead son. I'm not here to replace your dead son. Well, I want to know where Major Gilbert is. <laughs> <laughs> like, those type of moments are cute and nice and give her personality. I don't know. I just, I don't... I give her I can, personality I can outside of I can Gilbert, where are you? The whole... Yeah, I understand, like, the whole point of her, like, getting, I need orders. Like, that's like a... I, at least in my mind, that's like a front just to like be with Gilbert. Like I need to go back Maybe. because because in the whole war she fought by his side. So in her mind, it's like, well, I'm gonna be fighting and getting amputated everywhere. But hey, at least I'm with the man I love. Well, we'll find out, I guess. But I'm just saying, right now, she, outside out based on the first episode, is the show. It was good. It was a good first episode. I just wanted to do more with her and more with its setting. Like there's potential in the setting to do. Things other than just like melodrama. No, I think this is a good, especially from the historic point. Like, I'm, I want to find out more about the war and what happened in the different sides. And okay, but that's shit. what the rest of the series. Is I'm, for. Not, you're, I'm not I judging like the saying, whole series. I'm just saying, whoa, well, they could have had more laughs and more. They could have. They could have had more character. Like these shows. Not. Like what it was. If I had one complaint about this episode, it was just that it was missing character outside of the ending scene, which I was like, oh, okay, that was kind of good. But the whole first. 75, 80% of the show just had no character outside of I must find Gilbert and get his orders and... If you're saying that's <laughs> not... Ca- like, that's not that's character not for character. you. That's not character. It's not... There's no charm uh, to it. There's no... There's no reason for me to be compelled or interested in her just yet. Like, I'm not interested in her life or her struggle or anything because I don't know anything about her or the world she's in other than... She needs to find Gilbert because she loves him. Okay, well, for those of us Thankfully, who are more Thankfully, the last scene made it... it the last scene for made those it more who are more compassionate. Listen, you can't just throw... <laughs> you can't just throw melodrama in a pot and expect me to care for everybody. I need to see... We had the same argument with Kuzuno Honkai. I don't... I need to see the full context of the person in there. Like, the reason why Clannad is fu- so fucking heart-wrenching is because you see the full person. You see them when they're strong. You see them when they're sad. You see them when they're funny. You see an actual person. This is just... Like, Kuzuno Honkai was just melodrama, melodrama, melodrama. You need to splice it up and intersect comedy and action, which they did at the end. So, I'm hopefully this will continue, but the first 80% of the show was just kind of melodrama, which characters I didn't care about so much. Well, I'm here for the drama. So. <laughs> well, hopefully they know, and I have faith in Kyoani, so hopefully they know it's more than just melodrama that drives a good show. Okay. Now watch everybody in the comments be like, why does Silver only fucking hate Violet Evergarden? Who's the best masterpiece <laughs> yeah, of all right? time? God. And I, I don't have to be like, no, Violet. I like I liked Violet Evergarden. It's Violet. It's Violet. <laughs> hates Musashi. <laughs> Let me reiterate, I did like the first episode of Violet Evergarden. I just thought it could have done more. But notice he did not correct me when I said that he hated Musashi. I love Musashi. Liar. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Cardcaptor Sakura, Clear Card Hen, 
where we will again engage in some probably debate about how good this quality of this episode was. No, no, I'm probably <laughs> gonna agree. I wasn't a huge fan of this episode. Like, I don't get me wrong, I love the series, I love, but I will just to have some sort of integrity, I will be truthful. <laughs> it's like, no, this episode is very like lackluster. It, it seemed for some reason, it was just like, let's do the episode where we just watch her doing kind of not really much of anything at school and watch her talk to her friends who, like, were never really part of the whole series to begin with. I'm like, why are we just watching her talk to her and, friends? Yeah, I was kind of wondering that because I haven't... You've seen Card Capitals recently, and I haven't. Like, I, I saw the series a long time ago, and I was wondering, like, man, this is a really slow pace. Is it always this slow? Or are they always this 90% um, of the episode just them with their so, friends? And then and then there's another thing, and I hope <laughs> they change this, because if they don't, then I feel like this, ser- this season actually just might suck, like, dick. But, um... And this is and this is one of the things that does that usually makes the show go like not as slow paced. You know, to keep in mind that all the stuff that happens, she has to figure it out. She usually spends like half the episode figuring out what card it is and how to catch it. And this in the first episode first episode I understand is episode one. Mm-hmm. But this episode, in both episodes, the card went to her. That's a problem. That's a problem because then yeah, for the whole so episode, random. they can just do whatever they want. And then the next five minutes, oh, there's a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was like a mystery element to the first series of card captors. There was like, some shit's going down. Let's investigate. And I remember Tomoyo and Sakura having to go and investigate. Exactly. And like, I remember one of my favorite episodes was the, um, there was an episode where it was like a museum. <gasps> the museum yes. episode. And they, yes, they, like, they kept rewinding time or something. That was a good setup. And it was like, oh, that's interesting. This was literally like, oh, let's try on Codes of Sakura. Oh, shit. We're stuck in a cube. Oh, <laughs> the cube is rubber. The end. <laughs> yeah, right. Cube is rubber. Let's, let's paint it to beat it. Let's just simply And that was my issue. It. There was no... There, all right. There's no magic involved in just fucking... T- Tomoyo was the hero of this, yeah, of this episode. Right. She was magical for Tomoyo. All she did was <laughs> pop the thing into, and Sakura was just like, thanks. Yeah. Like, that was kind of lame. This felt like a really... It was it was so slow. It was such a slow episode. It was like ninety yeah, like percent just. I will say the, the 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 moment it literally picked up was when Toya came back because I I love the Toya and tracking with Sakura thing and then Yuki mm-hmm. just being there like I I was perfectly fine with it and then she always had like that kind of like crush on on Yuki thing and Toya actually got like a little bit like. In her face about it, I'm like, I'm like, damn right you are, because you you hidden that. But <laughs> it was it was like at that, that point on, it was fine. But the only part is from that point on, that's like half the episode. Yeah, it was way too slow. It was my problem. It was like you could have condensed the whole first half of that episode with the whole school scene and them picking clubs and then they went to yeah. lunch. And like you could have cut that down to like five five minutes. <laughs> yeah. You needed to make it twenty, like fifteen minutes or however long it was. Yeah, and, like, the fact that I was, like, we were, well, I was slightly hungover when we watched this, so it was just, like, it even felt, like, worse somehow, because it was, like, <laughs> oh, God, I just want to blow my brains Don't out. No worry, I was not hungover, and it was still pretty bad. <laughs> the, and then, to top it off, like I said, the whole purpose of Card Capture Sakura is how interesting the concept of the cloud cards are, and the mystery and Sakura going out to catch yeah. them and doing yeah, that's magic like, that's the whole and process. using the card. Yeah. This was just, oh, we're in a room. Oh, Tomoyo has a pin. We are now out of the room and we saved everything. It lasted a total of like three minutes of the episode. Yes, it was very, it was very <laughs> unimpressive. I'm hoping they're going to change that as they collect more cards. But like, I hope it doesn't take to like episode 10 to get like that. Although I do have to say, the one thing I will say nice about this episode is I did enjoy the backgrounds. I don't know how you felt about the backgrounds. Oh my god, you know I love the background. I'm like, they literally kept changing it every five seconds. Talking like every... about pretty pretty anime, this is pretty. This is a pretty pretty show. Pretty, and like, pretty. literally, they're just like... It literally went from normal background to Sakura saying, Oh my god, we made the cake! Literally. And I, I think they're really going hard with the... um. Which I appreciate, because like, I, like, I like a good, consistent motif mm. of like flowers like the background every time they said something like a cute moment half the time it was flowers in the background yeah so 
I appreciated that. I like the fact that Lee is definitely hiding something. Oh, yeah, that was the other interesting part about this episode. Yes, yeah, so Lee is definitely hiding something. He's not saying, like, oh, I'm doing something. He sounds like busy. a cheating husband. He's yeah, just like, right? Oh, I got paperwork to do. I can't. I can't. I have, right now. I have a little bit of paperwork to do. <laughs> like, I can't really do much of anything. I'm just like, paperwork. you're definitely I'm like, hiding dude, something. you're in sixth grade. I can't. Yeah, I got no fucking and paperwork. Then, and then they brought May, and then I'm just like, that bitch can stay in China. <laughs> I hope May Bye, shows Felicia. up. <laughs> I hope May shows up. I hope I hope Lee is sleeping oh, with God. May. And that's the, <laughs> that's oh. what's going on. Sakura just goes to Lee's house and May's there. <laughs> and then I just throw up. Alright. Alright, so yeah, a little bit disappointed in this episode. Yeah, it could have been could, a lot better. It could have been. Hopefully it'll be better next week. Shall yeah. we move on? Yes. What was really good this week? Yes. Uh, Citrus. Citrus. Which is my episode of the week. Citrus is your episode of the week? Okay. Yeah. I, I have a different episode of the week. I'm I know. I know what it is. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was oh, this one. What, what a surprise it's going to be, guys. <laughs> Last two. I think it might be good. No, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. You're right. No. Um, so, Citrus this week was... See, this is... I'm not going to compare it to Violet Evergarden. This was a good mix of comedy and drama like i think that this was a good blend of those two things and we got to see a lot more of may's character so i like i hated may in the first episode but this time around i actually think that i don't know she's become a little bit more of a sympathetic character and i'm kind of liking her more like i can see where she's coming from yeah i like i like her of course i love like i'm telling you like yuzu like she and her like we're we're girlfriends in my mind (laughs) <laughs> Wait, Yuzu and May? No, Yuzu and me. Oh, Yuzu and me. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, no, not like... <laughs> like, girlfriends. Like, we go out for drinks. No, you know, I, about... I would chill with Yuzu. She seems like a really drinks, good friend. Go out for drinks, get our nails done, put on a shit ton of makeup Yuzu, for no Yuzu is chill as fuck. I would totally hang out with Yuzu. Yeah, appa- oh, yeah. Also, apparently everyone's school is a what I would call a lug. And what the fuck is a lug? a lug is lesbian until graduation. Uh, okay, <laughs> maybe post graduation too. And may, maybe, maybe. post graduation, <laughs> but it seems like when they said like, "Oh yeah, everyone here is like kind of just fucking around until we that get, was get awesome. married." I think that was my favorite scene of the episode. And I'm just was, like, like, "What?" <laughs> normally they hide that. Oh, by the way, her friend is fucking amazing. I love Yuzu's friend. What's her name? Yeah, is? I think it's like Hachin. It's Hachin. Hachin. Yes. Harumi, oh my god, she's fucking, I love her. Yeah, yeah, like, no, yeah, she was, she was pretty good, like, but what did it for me was when they were out and about towards the end of the episode, where she was just in full, like, gyaru mode, and I was like, <laughs> oh my god, bitch, I'm living for it. Her top was good, her hair falling down, and her makeup was nice, and her shoes, oh my god. I like her hair in the school uniform, but yeah, her hair when she was out and about casual mode was yeah. better. I really liked it. And then her, just going back to the the lug scene, that was great. That was just like, oh, I thought they were going to be coy about it, or like she was going to dismiss it. Like, oh, what are you talking about, girl? But they were like, no, 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 all the girls here just, you know, they fuck. What yeah. are you going to do? Well, they, they fuck yeah, each other. Yeah. And then like zooms in on different girls. Like, like holding, holding hands. Holding hands and like being flirtatious and shit. I'm like, oh, well. Now we know, and it makes sense within the context of the school, because all the kids there are, like, really, it's like a Nazi school. They're all fucking held to strict disciplines and all that shit. So it's like, eh, they got a vent somehow, so they fuck around. Yeah, which is mildly disturbing, actually. (laughs) (laughs) It's actually mildly disturbing. So now Yuzu can proceed to obtain her harem. (laughs) <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, girl. oh god um yeah also i love how i must did we know did we know that may was engaged to the teacher um i don't think that she was engaged but i'm i'm pretty sure yeah. it put two and two together like oh she was engaged to the teacher i don't know if they outwardly said that though but it was for all intents and purposes i think it was common knowledge that she was engaged to the teacher i don't know i think i just forgot yeah, but... I, uh, but yeah, that's some crazy So is he shit. out of the plot now? He was just, like, really shafted by yeah. Yuzu. <laughs> yeah, Yuzu being a very... The guy, fucking best. The best, a bad bitch, also very dumb. She's dumb, but she's, like, 
it's funny because if this was any other character, for the most part, I'd be like, God, they're so stupid. Why are they doing all these stupid things without thinking straight? Yeah. But when Yuzu does it, I'm just like, yeah, speak that truth to the power, girl. <laughs> yeah, Fuck whatever. up this whole establishment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck them up. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, she got the microphone and she spelled all the tea. <laughs> yeah. Honey, she spelled all the tea. She was like, oh, <laughs> God. She's Fuck like, you. Fuck you. And especially fuck you. Exactly. She's like... <laughs> I'm the granddaughter <laughs> of the chairman. <laughs> this dude is sleeping around on May. <laughs> Yo, the chairman is so fucked up right now. He's like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this whole so, world is and, yeah, and apparently, a family don't mean shit, because he was just like, oh, right, well, it's, considering what happened. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, we had, we had, you remember how last episode we had, like, what was it, two sexual assaults? Now we have... Like three, three or four ish. Yeah, you know, right. I think we agreed on like what three point five. Three point five. You had <laughs> you had the uh, the the bath scene where mm-hmm. uh, May just straight up pushes Yuzu against the wall and like licks her neck. Then you had the um, the uh, the scene the point five. No, the the other scene where her friend reaches into her blouse while that, she's explaining yeah, that was what the point five. No, the point five was Yuzu trying to kiss me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the last scene with uh, May pushing Yuzu on the bed and just going to town. Straddling. Yeah. Straddling her. And then the, <laughs> I love how the, the, the chairman comes in and he's like, well, even though she's on top of you <laughs> and your clothes are gone, yeah. this is clearly all your fault. Like, how so dare you? You're expelled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how dare you force yourself? How dare you force my granddaughter to force herself on you, <laughs> you skank? <laughs> uh, and I'm I'm probably gonna now. This is where I'm gonna go out on a complete limb and do one of my stupid theories. But I'm theorizing, and this is totally not gonna be the case. But if it is, I want my medal. Vampire? So, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no vampires this time. I'm theorizing that uh, Yuzu, not Yuzu, that uh, May. Was assaulted by her father because every single time May gets confronted by something and she feels threatened or uncomfortable, she, her immediate response is like, "I'm gonna sexually assault Yuzu. Where is she? I'm gonna push her down and strip her clothes off." So I don't know. I feel like that's a like a, a, a coping yeah. mechanism for her. Yeah, I mean, ab- people who abuse, who get abused, become the abuser. Kind of, sort of, and that, yeah, in that same vein. Like that, that's, 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 like, that's, that's how that's she a, knows how to respond. That's an actual stress. thing that happens. Yeah, so I'm like, that's probably, I'm thinking, her trigger to respond to stressful situations or unknown territory is just, I'm going to take control of the situation by sexually assaulting you. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So that's my theory. I don't know if I'm completely over the roof on that. I. It's like. I don't I, know if the show's going to go that deep. Like, I, it's one of those things where just like, wow, that'd be really, I, like, I don't want to say that sounds going to be really cool, because that's like, I don't want her to be a victim me of either. rape. I, me either, but I'm feeling like that, mm, that's the most plausible theory I can call it. My only thing is like, I don't know if the, the show's going to go that deep. I think it's just going to remain kind of a soft drama. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a soft drama. Because if anything, it's more comedy with some drama in it. Oh, uh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, this episode, it's, a good, episode, it's a, a good mix. It's, it's a, a good mix. It's a good mix. Um, I don't know. I just this one was, felt a little bit more drama heavy, only because like literally, like the scenes that happened with with these. I don't know. Like I don't know. Like as the plot was progressing, they made it funny, but then there were definitely some parts where literally, like towards the end. She was all literally just pining over her for like a, a solid four or five minutes. Like, oh, May. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Literally, that was like the last, the last of the couple show. minutes. Which is fine. That was, they deserve that. I mean, the rest of the episode was kind of lighthearted. So. Right. And I do want to see what happens as far as how they're going to fuck over the chairman. Because I'm, I'm guessing Yuzu is going to come in again and be like, listen, you 
old ass man. <laughs> yeah, the old piece of <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> slap, yo, if Yuzu walks in there and she just like backhands him or something. I'm <laughs> like, I'm taking my woman <laughs> yeah. slash sister come, back. And kisses her in front of him and shit. Like, she's my woman. And just like fucking makes out her mane, pulls her away. And the old dude's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, taking my, I'm taking my sister wife back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's 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 well, move on. Let's end the good times. No, not yet. I wait, think we have that, um. Wait, we uh, have uh. Did we pass it? Yeah, we did. It was you okay. know it should go to. There, there we go. Okay, yes. never mind. We still have good times coming. And yeah. This is my episode of the week. So yeah, yeah episode this, one of you know should go to. Yeah, this is like this. This is right. This is literally everything that this is Silver O'Neill's like web dream. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this is, is, this is just exactly. like comedy and lollies. Like there was plenty of lollies. There was plenty of comedy, and this is exactly. You know what? I like a show where I have an expectation of the show. I'm like going into it. I'm just like, this is what I expect from this show, and then it delivers on it. It doesn't. It doesn't go overboard. It doesn't yeah. under deliver. It's just exactly where I expect wanted, it to be, yeah. and I'm just like, that's nice. That's very nice, and that's exactly what the show is. It's exactly what you expect it to be, which is nice. It's very nice. Yeah, I know. I didn't, I didn't expect. I guess my expectations were lower, so I was pleasantly surprised. I like, for for example, my favorite thing about the episode is probably the characters. I don't. I like the main character. For a main character in a you know harem yeah. type show, he was pretty good. Um, he's obviously smart and he has like dynamic to him. Obviously, my favorite is I. <laughs> so <laughs> she was super cute. I love, and she's kind of feisty and. And, uh, yeah. you know, uh, argumentative, so I like that. And even the sister was kind of cool. Yeah, the sister whose name I totally forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna call her sister. <laughs> sadistic sister. That whole scene yeah. where she, I was calling her a sadistic girl or whatever, a sadist. Yeah. And she was freaking out. Yeah, I literally wrote my book, like, SM Girl. Yeah, SM Girl. <laughs> but beyond that, because I know everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's just a lowly show. But beyond that, it's actually pretty good in terms of yes no i i am saying that it is good yeah. and i am not a lolly <laughs> at all. the shogi aspect of it was good like there's a good mentality to it. it's kind of like sake where it's there it's there like they're just the sport itself is there they were referencing different problems with shogi like the the book that you you know you saw the shogi problems uh they were referencing they actually had matches going and different maneuvers and yeah. different strategies and then the shogi itself was like like they do in sake or in death note where they emphasize certain moves to make it more entertaining and they add special effects and sl- yeah. slam down the tiles and all of that and i did like the setup of uh the main character being one of like the premier you know shogi masters in the country the youngest yeah. master and then this girl is kind of like his disciple and now they're both entering a tournament but she's kind of entering like the minor leagues and yeah. he's in the major league and they're having their their match simultaneously so i'm hoping it bounces back and forth between them yeah that'd be cool um <laughs> i liked i liked her interacting with that other male character ayumu like oh, it was the one with cape yeah the one, yeah, the the one with the cape, cape. <laughs> and that's the other thing like the characters were kooky and fun but dude yeah. with the cape came in and was just like being stupid <laughs> yeah like who need, like, why are you playing... What was the name of this game? Shogi. Shogi, yeah. Why are you playing Shogi, like, with the cape on? Like, that makes no sense. I'm hoping we keep that theme, and it's just gonna, like, every character is just gonna be some crazy fucking <laughs> in sociopath or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's got some Kakegurui characters in this show. If I don't get checked when three turns, I'm gonna shoot Shit, myself. I'm gonna shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> also, I had a bit of a Yandere... Uh, moment too which i don't know if it was for comedic effect or if she's actually just like that's gonna be a repeated thing in her character mm. <laughs> where she's super obsessive mm, i hope so me too and for those of you who are comparing it to if you're interested in seeing it and you want to compare it to something else like uh tenshino 3p or uh blah, 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 blah. what's that basketball show um fuck rocky go rocky go Oh, is it like Colonel Basket? <laughs> no, no, uh, not like Colonel Basket. At all. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. That's, only, that's like the only name that's called anime that I know of. Yeah, Rokibu, which is basically you know the same premise. It's just lollies playing basketball. <laughs> and then our team, 
I would say that this is closer to Rokubu because, in my opinion, Rokubu had uh, something that Tenshi no 3P didn't, which was it was interesting for beyond the lowly aspect. Like, the sport, like, it was a legit good sport anime. Like, it, it was interesting. There was rivalries and characters and shit. This is falling down that same vein where it's, yeah, there's lollies and you can watch it and they're cute and yeah, but it's also just interesting as a sports anime. There's a lot of that comp- competition and you learn a lot about Shogi by watching it, so it's interesting beyond just the lollies. Hopefully it will keep that up next episode. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to, well... Not so much the lowlies, but definitely... But definitely def- a show <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking for a good time, which is what the show managed to give me. Yeah. Absolutely. But you know what did not give me a good time, though? Oh, man, we're actually going to disagree about this. Gin no Guardian 2, Episode 1. Uh, second I, season I'm not sure if this Gin is no another Guardian. reason. Like, this is another thing where I maybe I was more harsh... I was, a, I was a. I don't know what the fuck standard you were putting it up to, but I was this probably is more like... harsh <laughs> because I was also like Karkat Sakura meh, and I'm like Geno Guardian meh because I think you were expecting it to be. Maybe it's because it, it's kind of reversed. Like, remember you were, you were bringing up when we watched it originally in the summer, and I was like, I wish it was longer, and you were like, No, it's okay because it's short, so it's like shitty, but it's a short shitty show. Yeah. Now it's twice as long. And now it's, but unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it's just all shit. Like, so now it's just like, oh, great. That was a 20 minute shitty show. And like, now I'm if they like, made, like, if they made it better, like, you know, <laughs> like what Sony said, and this made it better, I'd be fine. But I don't know. It just seemed like a longer version. Like, there's no, like, all they, all what happened is like, this, they had these very, I don't know, t- like, mad fucking extra characters like oh, usually the first season didn't have any of this like no no but they only had it for seven minutes but no it was like he was extra but he was still like boring like that's my problem like like you like he, this this he's like okay i'm a i'm a bit of a nito like he's a really generic cookie cutter like he is so generic like everyone was so generic oh yeah no but God. that's why i liked it it's so fucking stupid but maybe because now it's a 20 minute anime I'm kind of just like okay this is just stupid it's fun. maybe it's either because my expectations were so low or we live in a post Osama <laughs> game world now but this was actually fun for me to watch because it was don't it's it's horrible like the, the characters are so shitty it's the most generic character like you I think they literally went to like TV tropes and just typed in a, a trope of a character like Rival, rival, <laughs> douchebag, like, rival, douchebag, and, rival, and just, trope. yeah, and just copy and paste it in that whole template, and we're like, okay, this is our character, because that was the most generic. I don't even remember his name, Titan. It's it was Titan. Titan. Yeah. He was the most generic cookie cutter. I'm a rival, but I'm also a like in my mind, I was comparing him to like 15 <laughs> other people. I'm like, it's like Ken from Digimon Season like, Two. Like is he Ken, like Sasuke, <laughs> Vegeta? Like, like, like he's just a douchebag rival, dude. So, yeah, he was super cookie cutter. And the guy you were referring to was just like a fat ass neat. Fat, yeah, fat ass neat shut in who was like, likes, I love idols. Yeah, Ooh. idols. Oh, it's so great. Oh, <laughs> let's, let's get, me get your email. Oh, like, even, oh, even the wow. main character himself was just like, I'm a mysterious main character, you guys. Like, he's a chill dude, but he was just like, eh. I think, yeah, I think. <laughs> For some reason, like, he's the only one I was fine with. Like, I'm, I'm okay with him because he's just like. I'm just kind of here, like, <laughs> like I'm like a. It's weird. I was gonna say like he's a shit. I was gonna say he's a shittier version of Kirito, but I actually prefer him over Kirito. Like I think like <laughs> the stand, the starting place of shit is Kirito, and you can only get better from there. Here's the thing: the reason Kirito, I I think most people hate him, is just because he's boring. Like, oh, I'm yes. the perfect person, and Ex- everything exactly, is perfect. Exactly, yeah. and then and this, this dude is this kind dude of, is not. He's no, not he perfect. is the he is the op- he is the opposite of perfect. He has <laughs> he has he's literally walking around with a cheat code in him, but he's still like kind of like. Derping everywhere, yeah. and I, I, and I like that. I like any other thing that this episode had that I, of course, liked was it had my favorite character from season one making a return, looking like she's going to be one of the main characters in season two, which yeah. was martial arts lowly. So that's dope. I'm hoping we see, and she was actually kind of cool. I liked her character. 
she was just kind of shitting on. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, no. She was, she was, she was cool. Like, why do you want me to join your party? Are you some kind of like pervert? What the fuck? Why do you want a kid to join your party? And the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, and the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. So, as far as that goes, it was just fun to watch. Like, it's it's so shitty in every single way. The action is shitty. The characters are shitty. The environment is just like some generic wasteland. Shitty. It looks like the 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 you know in Dragon Ball when um. Vegeta and Nappa, and they fight in like that generic valley area where it's like mountains. Yeah. Or, like, like, yeah. yeah, it was just yeah. that. It was like a wasteland valley yeah. area. It was just all the most generic, shitty, no effort things put into one anime. But it was still somehow entertaining because of how shitty and low effort it was. To me, maybe the novelty of that will wear off after a few episodes. But for now, it would. It would, it would have to. <laughs> if you still like that, I'd. I'd be like, oh my god, you're actually just addicted to like <laughs> shit not happening. I I think that's that says like a lot about what we're into. Like, um, Sorini and I we're both on the opposite spectrums of like what we like. Like, I'm totally okay with everything just like exploding, going nuts, like da da da. Like, yeah, super drama. You sleep with him. You sleep with each other. You like get someone knock someone up. Like you kill the baby. Like. <laughs> <laughs> give, yes, give me all of that. We and killed more. your child. <laughs> give me all of that and more. I love it. And he, and you know, Oni's more like, uh, oh, you know, I just want someone where they all go to school and they like, make a cute. Little I just jokes. want things fun. I just want a yeah. fun show. He wants fun, and I want utter destruction. <laughs> <laughs> but in Gino Guardian, it's like this episode slanted more towards the fun side. <laughs> I'm not trying to say that this is fun in any way, shape, or form. But it's hard like, to talk about the show because I don't want to give the impression that it's good. 90% yeah. of the people who watch it is not going to like it. And I, even myself, will acknowledge it's trashy and shitty. But it's... it's No, this episode is just... It's a fun, trashy, <laughs> shitty show to watch. Like, I liked it before. <laughs> I liked it before because, like, they had, like, great, <laughs> iconic, dumb scenes. Like... That whole bike chase. Like, oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. The that animation in the show is horrible, too. Everything about it is so bad. <laughs> but that was funny. <laughs> it's so, it was bad, so bad. It's it so bad. It's so fun. Because it's like, I feel like, oh, shit. It gives me inspiration. Because I see Gendo Guardian get a second season. And I'm like, man, Gendo Guardian has a second season. I can make an anime. <laughs> like, I can make an anime tomorrow. And I feel like they just have, like, a lot of money <laughs> they just have a lot of money and they don't know where to sink it into so they sink it into crappy shit i don't know it was it well it put a smile on my face so i'm happy with it it served its purpose I'm, this uh, week it need, like no this is osama games osama game needs to teach a lesson about being <laughs> like just not it doesn't have to be extra like osama it just has to do something like do <laughs> something jesus huh. you know what it's like it's like Maybe if, no, this is gonna be a horrible now. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna say? I was gonna say I'm, I'm trying to compare it to like what like something that's bad and good at the same time. Like if I had a a really shitty day at work and all I wanted was an ice cream and I went and got an ice cream cone and the moment I go to eat it, the, like the scoop just falls off and it lands on top of Kyrie's head. Like it's shitty because I don't have ice cream. But just seeing Kyrie <laughs> with a fucking scoop of ice cream on her head is kind of funny. So it would be like that. Like it's a shitty scenario all around for everyone involved in the situation. Kyrie's not happy. I'm not happy. But I'm kind of happy. <laughs> well, that is a very, very specific example. and optimistic way of looking at things. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end this episode. But before we do. We'd like to give a shout out as usual to the people who have donated. Um, <clears throat> uh, check. Oh yeah, if you like this episode, by all means, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, check out our Twitter. Definitely join the Discord because it's a fucking party. Yep, it's a great party every day, all day, every day. <laughs> and I would also like to say that we have recently added an additional perk to the. All donators, so anyone who donates a dollar or more, you're going to also be able to live watch one of the shows we're watching for the podcast, which is Fate Extra, which is, I think, airing in about another two weeks or so. So, yeah, if you donate before it airs, you'll be able to join us to live watch Fate Extra and you get our opinions on the spot. So, just a heads up on that. Yes, it's going to be super fun and 
I don't know. I can't wait. It's going to be a shit show. And I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should live watch Gindo Guardian. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> yeah, that's super cock. <laughs> cock literally. Uh, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed it, yes, do this as Drew uh, suggested. Leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. But until next time, I am Soberoni with Drewy Do Desu, and we will see you next week. Later. Bye.